In this session, let's have a look at the Zoom F8 and the metadata features, which we had a couple of people ask for. So thanks for that request. There are a couple ways to do it. You can organize each scene into a separate folder, which can be a really good way to do things. You can also just name the individual files for the different scenes. So that's another way to do it. We'll show you those two. Let's go ahead and go into the menu here. First, let's come up to the finder. I'm gonna do it in folders first. So let's create our first folder. We're gonna go into SD card one and we're gonna create a new folder. And we're gonna call this, this is a piece that we did recently. We're just gonna call it science. It had to do with um, the effects of nature on your brain. And it's a pretty interesting kind of documentary piece. But let's just name this here. And we're gonna name the first one Science One. That'll be our first scene for this one. Okay, so we're gonna enter there. We're good. Now we have our Science One folder. We're gonna come back out. And now we're going to choose metadata for next take. All right, first of all, let's just run down through the menu. Note is the default note that will be written for each individual take. So each individual file or each individual clip. I've just set the default to good take. Um, you can go in here to the history and there's, a, you know, you can create your own um, or you can use a variety of others. So if I just leave that at good take, um, I can come in and change that if it's not a good take, <laughs> is the thinking there. Next is the scene name mode. So in this case, I'm going to go with current folder. There are some other options and we'll come back. Um, I sometimes use user name. That's where you get to name the scene. You can also just go with the date. You can leave none if for some reason you wanted to do that. Um, but let's just use current folder in this particular one. Okay. Uh, user scene name doesn't really matter in this case because we're, um, we're going to be using folders. You can increment the scenes by numbers or by letters, characters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at number. Usually we go by numbers when I'm counting scenes. <laughs> Next up is track name. Now this, these are the individual inputs on the Zoom F8 or F4 that you can name. So for example, I almost always put my boom microphone on channel one, and then any subsequent tracks have wireless on them in most cases. Sometimes maybe a plant mic or something like that, but um, so I've just named them in this case, boom, wireless one, wireless two. Now, if you want to name them after the characters in the piece, if you're doing a narrative piece or maybe a documentary piece or whatever, and you want to keep the um, tracks organized by the character name, you can do that as well, of course. Take reset mode, we go with a folder change. So what that means is that when we change folders, it will restart the take counting from one again, which makes sense because in this case, we are again organizing our scenes by folder. So when we start a new scene, we wanna start the takes from one again, and that's what that does. We have take name format. This gives you the option to name each of the clips with the scene name and then the take within a T and then the take number, or you can just do scene without a T. I usually put the T in there just so it's clear that that's a take number. All right, that's all we do. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate how this works. So I'm gonna arm this channel and this one and this one. So channels one through three are armed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and record and watch what we get here. This is now science one, take one. So science scene one, take one. That's cool, we'll stop there. Let's do another take. Just have the actors go through that again, or the in this case it was participants, more of a documentary type of thing. And we'll stop there. Okay, let's say that the people that we're shooting today are completely on. They've said everything exactly right, <laughs> what the producer wanted them to say. We can now increment to the next scene. We're going to go do our next scene. So I'm going to press and hold the stop button and press fast forward. And it says, create scene folder. Are you sure? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and create our next scene folder. Now watch what happens. We'll start with our first take. Now it says science two, take one. So this is scene two of science. Take one, stop, record the next one. It increments to take two. Okay, that's cool. All right, now let's say that, hey, back on take one, 
I didn't have time to do this before, but there was an airplane that flew over, so it sort of interfered with the sound. So we want to go and make a note of that. So I'm going to come back into the menu, come up to the Finder, come into that SD card, come into Science 2 folder, and then go back up to Take 1. I'm going to press and hold on the encoder here. That takes me into this menu, and I can Metadata Edit. Here I can change my note. And here, for example, I can come in and say Plane Overhead. So come back out. That's cool, okay. Now, when I'm done with shooting for the day, what I'm going to do in this particular scenario is I'm going to create a sound report for each of the scenes. So what I can do here is press and hold on Science 1 and create sound report. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go ahead and do that, did that. Come and do the same thing for Science Scene 2, press and hold. Create sound report, create. Good there. Now you'll notice when I came in to do that, there's also this info edit. You can change some things like comments or, you know, whatever it may be. So that is a possibility as well. And then when you bring those sound reports into your computer, or download them, they're CSV files, they look something like this. So that's a pretty good, that's one way to do it. Um, let's go ahead and show one other way to do this as well. Now, another way I sometimes do this is I will actually, rather than doing folders, I'm going to use a username instead. So let's come back out. Let's name this. And we will call this something other than scene one. Okay. Yes. We are going to go ahead and reset the take number as well. Okay, now you'll see when we come out and start recording. Science one, take one. Great. Let's do another take for that scene. Science one, take two. Great. Let's go to the next scene. Stop and fast forward. Increment the scene number, yes. Okay. Now when we start recording, it's science two, take one. Great. And Science 2, Take 2. Okay, let's come in and see how things got organized in our Finder. You can see it just put them all in the root directory there, but it gave them different names. So that's another way to do things. And I think, let's just double check. Can I create a sound report out here? Yes, okay. So there I could create the sound report for the entire shoot all in one. So there are just a couple of looks at editing metadata. Of course, on the Zoom F8, you can also do all of this via the app. Um, on the F4, unfortunately, you cannot, but it works otherwise in the menus the same way. Entering data can be a lot faster if you have the F control and you hook a keyboard up to it. So that's another option as well. So there's a quick overview of setting up metadata on the Zoom F4 and the Zoom F8.